Hello all, this video is on Jetson Nano which is used for deep learning models for artificial intelligence and image recognition. There are 2GB and 4GB variants. We are using 4GB variant in this video. Other models are Jetson TX2 and AGX Xavier which are all much costlier than this 4GB model. This Jetson Nano is a system on module that is SOM. It has got a carrier board and a computer on module. Unlike Raspberry Pi 4, which is a SBC, that is single board computer, Jetson Nano is built on ARM Cortex A57, which is one generation older than Cortex A72, which is used in Raspberry Pi 4. Jetson Nano has no inbuilt Wi Fi or Bluetooth, but has Ethernet port. You can add Wi Fi dongle or M2 slide in Wi Fi. UART SPA, I2C, 40 pin GPU, everything is same as Raspberry Pi 4. But the real power of Jetson Nano is from its graphical processing unit GPU. It has 128 CUDA cores at 921 MHz. CUDA cores allow GPU to process similar tasks at once because of parallel processing feature. Uh, Nano is capable of 472 G flops. G flop is a measure of GPU which is equal to 1 billion floating point operations per second while Raspberry Pi 4 has got only 10 giga flops. Uh, Jetson Nano is capable of 472 giga plots, giga flops and it is not SBC it is system on module. There are actually two boards one carrier board at the bottom and the computer on mo module. At the right hand side you can see 40 GPU pins and at the top Ethernet uh, PoE pins. At the front side you can see the Ethernet port and 4 USB 3 ports. And nearby uh, that one DP is there. That is a display port on top and to the bottom is a single HDMI which is capable of 4K. And uh, for power you can use this barrel, uh, barrel socket. To the back of the barrel socket there is a jumper if you want to use the barrel you have to put the jumper and to the back there are two camera ports this is uh, csa camera connectors and uh, raspberry pi version 2 camera is supported in this uh, jetson nano you can use the same camera for this at the bottom of the heatsink you can see a slot for uh, sd card here you can insert a micro sd card with the OS. The operating system is Jetpack. To the back of the carrier board, on the left hand side, you can see all the 40 GPU pins uh, printed. All 40 pins are printed. And to the top, you can see the uh, TX RX pin, TXT RXT, and then a reset pin and LED plus and minus pins. These are all given separately. Let us uh, remove the heat sink and see what is uh, beneath that. Remove the two screws using proper screwdriver and then uh, gently release the side latches on either side of the module. The heat sink on module will spring up. Pull out the computer on module from the slot. This slot is same as that of a RAM slot in your computer. The same RAM slot is uh, used on the uh, baseboard. Just uh, gently pull the heat sink outside so that the uh, Jetson Nano module comes out. This is called SODAMM module, the Jetson Nano module that is plugged onto a carrier board. So it is uh, not a single board computer, two boards are there. And uh, near to that slot, you can see another socket at the bottom where you can plug in a Wi-Fi module. This is uh, a M2 key slot. You can use Intel dual band wireless AC 8265 module with external antenna for Wi-Fi facility. Yes, Jetson Nano has got no inbuilt Wi-Fi. To the bottom of the Nano module, you can see SD card slot where you can slide in a SD micro SD card with the operating system. The operating system used is uh, Jetpack operating system. The image of the operating system you can download from the official website. The latest version is Jetpack 4.6 while making this video. And you can use Bellino Etcher to flash the image uh, onto the SD card. After flashing the image, you can uh, uh, slide in this uh, SD module onto the slot. Minimum 32 GB is required and always use class 10. 
for uh, sliding in the SD card you need not remove the heatsink just to show the parts beneath the heatsink I removed the uh, top module now let us gently replace the heatsink by putting back the side latches and then uh, put back the screws of the heatsink on the top of the heatsink there uh, you can see four holes for fixing a fan this is four wire fan and you have to purchase it separately on the top you can see four pins for uh, that these are all pwm pins for controlling the speed of the fan as this module will become really very hot the this fan is must and there is a barrel jack and if you want to use the barrel jack you have to put the connector there is a jumper here you have to remove the jumper and put it on these two pins so that uh, you can use 5 volt 4 ampere on this barrel jack the micro usb is for using 5 volt 2 amps only we will be using 5 volt 3 amps adapter like this and uh, connecting this uh, dc jack to that barrel socket for uh, display we will be using a uh, led tv hdmi led tv this sd card uh, slot is a spring type that is uh, press to lock and press to release so you can easily uh, press the uh, sd sd card onto the slot you need not remove the heat sink for uh, putting the sd card just like that you can press the sd card now connect the hdmi cable of uh, uh, led tv to the hdmi slot and then power on the jetson nano we are using 5 volt 3 ampere you can see the green led to the left now jetson nano oh, the jet pack is uh, booting up initial uh, boot up you can see the welcome screen we are not yet connected uh, keyboard and mouse now let us try the uh, wireless uh, keyboard and mouse and this is the small dongle for the that came along with this wireless uh, keyboard and mouse I'm just plugging this module onto the one of the USB slots and without uh, any drivers it is straight away it is working now this is the welcome screen select the language and the keyboard layout and then your location and then click on continue now you have to provide a name and a password this is the main difference between Raspberry Pi and this Jetson Nano. Jetson ha Nano has got no default name, while Raspberry Pi has got a default name. This In this Jetson Nano, you have to provide the name and password. So that is why we are connecting to an external display. Now click on next and uh, uh, now it is configuring the hardware and uh, booting up again. It will take some time and uh, the welcome screen your name will be displayed and you have to provide the password to login now this is the welcome screen of uh, nvidia jetpack jetson nano and this uh, uh, green screen is the welcome screen for internet connection uh, let us connect the ethernet cable i am connecting this ethernet cable from my router as we are not using any wi-fi dongle we are using the wired method to know the IP address there are two methods first method is to log in to your router setup for that you, know, you should know the gateway IP address to know the gateway IP address go to command prompt and then uh, IP config uh, forward slash all there you can see the default gateway mine is 192.168.1.1 I am just feeding that uh, IP address onto the browser and router login page will come I am providing the router login uh, admin uh, name and password now this is the beetle uh, uh, router under the setup and LAN you can see DHCP which is allotting the IP address for the clients under DHCP you can click on show clients and uh, under the client table you can see the raspberry uh, this uh, jetson nano uh, my jetson nano desktop it is allotted 192.168.1.66 this is dynamic ip address so every time i boot up this may change the in the router setup there is a method to make it static also second method is to use the advanced ip scanner uh, download and install the advanced IP scanner open it and uh, provide a range mine is 192.168.1.1 to 10 
so this will also find the IP address now we are using putty SSH terminal to log in open putty and feed in the IP address and then select SSH click on OK now this uh, login uh, screen will come feed in the name of the Jetson Nano we have provided and then the password now you can see the prompt desktop prompt the dollar symbol and tilde symbol you can use clear to clear the screen you can use this is actually ubuntu screen so you can use all uh, linux commands ls for listing and uh, cd for changing uh, uh, directory and uh, ls hyphen uh, l to list the uh, list view so all linux commands you can try this is nothing but ubuntu uh, operating system cd dot dot will go one directory uh, backwards and pwd is uh, present working directory now before installing any other application let us do an update use sudo apt iphone get update this will update the jetson uh, uh, jetpack use clear to clear the screen now we will install xrdp this is for uh, remote monitoring within the same local area network sudo apt-get xrdp will install xrdp which is an open source remote desktop protocol it will take some time to install this xrdp once this xrdp is installed uh, from your windows machine use remote desktop connection open the remote desktop connection and feed in the IP address of your Jetson Nano and click on connect now it will try to connect it will open a new window XORG and under this also you use the give the username that is the username of Nano and the password now click on connect now it will try to connect sometimes this may uh, trip immediately that is it will uh, switch off immediately or it will hang before uh, showing the uh, jetson nano welcome page so xrdb is not directly working on this uh, jetpack now there is a solution for for this you have to install another uh, xfce that is install a new lightweight desktop sudo apt hyphen get install xfce xfce is lightweight desktop install this it will take some time for installing so along with the xrdp you have to install xfce also after some time it will get installed xfce is installed This XFCE consumes uh, very fewer uh, system resources. Uh, after installing X XFCE, now you have to set up a dot accessing for XRDP. For this, use echo command echo XFCE for iPhone session and then greater than symbol and a tilde and forward slash dot X session. That is, uh, we are firing up dot uh, X session. After, that, after this, you have to give a restart for this. Uh, restart the service of XRDP. Use service XRDP restart. It will ask for the password. Provide the password uh, you are given for your username. Now you have to give a reboot. Sudo reboot. This reboot is a must. After reboot, uh, start the remote uh, desktop connection from your windows now provide the IP address of the Jetson Nano and click on connect it will uh, open the XORG window provide the username and the password of your uh, Jetson Nano and click on OK now it will try to connect it, this is the welcome screen and this is the uh, opening screen of the XFCE desktop that is the rad symbol is there this is the opening window of XFCE it is a lightweight desktop and uh, it works successfully with the uh, Jetson Nano at the bottom you can see the terminal icon click on the terminal icon and you can do all Linux commands here 
and near the terminal icon to, uh, to the bottom there is a browser symbol click on the browser to open the web browser now if you go to youtube and then click on any 8k 4k or 8k videos it will work flawlessly so this xfc even though it is uh, it consumes fewer system resources and it is a lightweight desktop it is uh, displaying uh, even 8k videos smoothly so xfce is best for uh, jetson nano uh, remote monitoring thank you for watching